He's now just destroying all of these poor Renaissance units. This is terrifying. That unit got destroyed. How's it going, guys and gals? It's your bro, Crow, here. And today we're going to be checking out this amazing faction that we found in the workshop built entirely of SCP units. If you go over here to the bottom left hand corner and click on the workshop and then you browse online, go over here to the faction section. Once you're in the faction section, go to the filters and sort by popularity and then go back. When you do so, you are left with a whole bunch of really cool factions, many of which are like, you know, World War II inspired. There's a One Piece faction, an Attack on Titan faction, but this SCP faction caught my attention. Click it, download it, and let's go and check it out. There are a lot of units in this SCP faction. There are so many. Let's take a look and see what we have here, guys. It seems we have a whole bunch of guards, facility guard, global occult guard, chaos, insurgency, serpents, hand, and this class D unit. Let's check these guys out. I'm going to grab some, just some squires. We'll do our usual squire test here to start. And then after that, we're going to check out the SCPs that are all really cool. Here we go. Oh, they shoot guns. Look at all these units. I love the hair. It looks like Elvis Presley became a prison guard or something like that. He is very, very cool. I love the gun. I love the outfit. He looks terrifying. Now we have a green unit rocking more of a burst assault rifle. Then we got this blue guy with a machine gun of sorts and this white and black unit with the face shield. Loving this. A P90, I believe. And then we're going to do the squire test. That was a little unfair. Hold on, let's just um, take the squires out and put knights in. Now we're just gonna upgrade it to a knight test and we're gonna see if there are any good. The shields are doing a great job of stopping the bullets. Uh oh, these guards are gonna get overrun by our SCP units. That's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. There's gonna be a fight down the road in this video, guys, where I'm gonna have a whole bunch of SCPs on the screen and the guards are gonna be completely overrun and it's not gonna go well for our defenders of love and justice, the guys that control all the SCP units. It's gonna be awesome. Dude, there's so many SCP units. I don't know which one to start with. There's Builder Bear and Plague Zombie. I don't know a lot about the SCP units. I'm actually gonna learn as we go along. SCP-079, the old AI, look at this unit. It's a TV on his head. Oh, that's a creepy face inside the TV. That looks weird. Who is SCP-079? Now, excuse me, I'm gonna go over to Google over there. SCP-079 is a sorcerer microcomputer built in 1978 when his creator took it upon himself to attempt to code an artificial intelligence. An evil artificial intelligence. Let's see what this guy can do. We'll start with the squires. Just summon a couple of these. I want to see what this guy is going to do to these lovely squires. SCP-079. Some lightning shocks. Lifts them into the sky. Hopefully he can survive all the slashes of these squires. Send it into the sky. Send it flying. Waiting for the lightning bolt. That guy went destroyed and now it's one on one. Squire versus SCP-079. Lift into the air and destroyed. This SCP caught my attention, SCP-035. He looks like a scientist, but he's, he's wearing a mask and he has a knife. What does Google have to tell me about SCP-035? SCP-035, referred to as the possessive mask, is a dangerous SCP object that we found inside of containment breach. It appears to be a white porcelain comedy mask, although at times it will change to tragedy. Subjects close to SCP-035 or in visual contact with it experience a strong urge to put it on. When SCP-035 is placed on the face of an individual, an alternate brainwave pattern from the SCP unit overlaps that of the original host, effectively stuffing it out and causing brain death. To this subject, it possesses you. This mask possesses you. Who is the poor soul? that is located inside this mask. Who is that? Well, SCP-035, what can you do to these units? Whoa, giant fear to send them all fleeing. So it's got a bit of a crowd control. So hopefully it can fight things one-on-one. -on -one. It causes everything to run away and then tries to fight what's left remaining. A very cool ability. However, it, the cooldown's not fast enough. These units aren't crowd controlled fast enough. And this evil mask that possesses people and, and renders them brain dead 
I don't know if it's going to survive all of these units. How much HP does this unit have? There's that giant fear sending everything flying. I'm going to possess him myself. Oh, no, his HP is getting low, guys. This unit's not going to make it. These, these hoplites, while being crowd controlled, are eventually, as you can see, going to defeat SCP-035. This one is SCP-049, the Plague Doctor. And now I know a little bit about Plague Doctors in general history and, and the use of the Plague Doctor mask, but as an SCP, what is he? SCP-049, referred to as the Plague Doctor. While SCP-049 appears to be wearing thick robes and the ceramic mask indicative of this profession, the garments instead seem to have grown out of his body over time and are now nearly indistinguishable from whatever form is beneath him. His clothing is part of his body. SCP-049 is capable of causing all biological functions of an organism to cease through direct skin contact. Don't let SCP-049 touch you. Which means I just want to put a whole bunch of halflings on him because they're going to jump on him. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. SCP-049. Four, nine. He does have a fear and he's stabbing with a knife. I wish there was a way to cause a lot of damage to a unit that touches a unit. Because that would be perfect for SCP-049, right? If there was an ability in tabs that could do that, we would be phenomenal. But I don't think that exists. I mean, he does have a knife. Maybe you can have it so the knife deals a boatload of damage, right? What if he had so much damage he was one-shotting things? That could make a lot of sense. But from what I remember, if you leave him with just his fists and increase the damage to maximum, it's not enough. It doesn't, it doesn't work. You need a weapon. So what I would do with SCP-049 is I would give him a small knife, maybe find a way to hide it if possible, and then cause that knife to do a bajillion damage, one-shotting everything because he makes people stop functioning that he physically touches. I do like watching him kind of thrash around and beat up all these poor little hobbits. But he's, oh my god, the hobbit's dragging him. Could you imagine if he fears the hobbit and it drags him off the map? Because that's kind of what's happening right now. <laughs> he might go off the map, guys. Actually, the one hobbit did. Poor little hobbit. Okay, can you guys, um, a little bit this way? Come closer to the floating head in the sky. This is so amazing if you can drag him off the map. I don't know how much HP this unit has, but he's taking a long time to kill a bunch of hobbits. Here we have a duo of SCPs, Kane and Abel. SCP-073 is this one here, named Kane. SCP-073 is a male cyborg-like entity whose arms, legs, and spine and shoulders are replaced entirely with an unknown metal substance. When attacked, any damage it sustains is recoiled back on the enemy because of that metal substance, who's very defensive. Any soil-based life, like plants, within a 20-meter radius gradually begins to die. If it stands on grass, it starts to become barren. Meanwhile, if he touches any material derived from plants, they begin to rot and disintegrate. And then you have his brother Abel, who's not always in this form. He's usually in a dormant state inhabiting SCP-076-1, which is this cube-like thing. But uh, sometimes he becomes activated and he busts out of the cube and becomes SCP-076-2, which is this unit. And then he goes on a murderous rampage, killing all humans in his way. Being, uh, uh yeah, this is gross. Let's see. What Cain and Abel can do to these units. We got a ground pound, some explosive punches from the giants. There is Abel with a sword of swords, a black sword with a red hilt. Very cool. Stabbed by a halibird, survived the blow. Cain is, yeah, he's alive. I thought he was dead for a second. I was very, very confused. Abel is over here doing some ground pound. Cain over here doing some ground pound. Both very strong units. Very, very powerful. Dealing with all these Renaissance units relatively easily Cain is still alive Abel has been enraged remember that one time I mentioned that he busts out of that cube and becomes this unit and then goes on a human killing rampage when he's enraged this is that human killing rampage and he's now just destroying all of these poor renaissance units this is terrifying that unit got destroyed Cain and Abel with a leaping combo attack trying to defeat this last renaissance unit and there's a ground punch and they're victorious
Here we have two more SCP units, SCP-011 and SCP-096. SCP-011 is an SCP Foundation statue of an American Civil War soldier that gradually gains sentience and mobility and likes to use his granite gun to shoot at birds in the sky. Apparently this statue is not all that violent and it eventually developed romantic feelings for a certain person. Huh. This SCP, however, is quite violent. SCP-096, also known as the Shy Guy, the Tall Man, and the Crying Man. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile. However, when somebody views his face, whether directly or via video recording or even a picture, he will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. He will cover his face with his hands and begin screaming. Approximately one to two minutes after this viewing, this unit will begin running to the person who viewed his face. Upon arriving at this guy's location, this unit will proceed to kill and do other unimaginable things to this poor victim. 100% of cases have left no traces of the victim. Yeah, the one on the right, 096, the crying man, the shy guy, is far more terrifying than our winter, our, uh, uh not winter soldier, that's a movie. <laughs> our Civil War soldier, let's see what they do to these pirates. So there he is going in to destroy his victim. Uh, hopefully he deals a bunch of damage. These students need to be a little bit stronger considering they kind of ravage units. There's some fear going on. This guy fires his rifle, which is very, very accurate. He's just kind of chilling there. Usually you shoot the birds, but sometimes you shoot the people, it seems. And this dude is trying to ravage all the people who have seen his face. Every one of these pirates has seen the face of 096, and now he has become enraged, and he's going in trying to ravage all of these lovely people. He does have a giant fear effect, which makes sense, considering he's an SCP unit. But I want to see, I want to see some very elaborate attack on SCP-096 because in the data files it mentions that he proceeds to do something to these units but that information is classified. I wish he did a little bit more than just went stabby 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 with the knives. This unit is SCP-008 which is basically an infectious zombie infection. A subject that is fully infected with SCP-008 is referred to as an infected. And when a person is fully infected by this SCP, their body undergoes a period of sporadic cellular necrosis with the surviving tissue assuming its original function while still being highly resilient. These SCP will energetically move towards sights and sounds and smells associated with living humans in an attempt to ingest them if physical contact is made. SCP-008 is just pretty much a zombie. And now the zombie is about to fight these lovely farmers. Look at him just waddle. That is fantastic. It looks great. Nice and slow. And he does not have a lot of HP. Interesting. You know, worth 1,250 points, you'd think you'd have more HP than that. But apparently not. So we're going to summon a whole boatload of these zombies. And they're going to come in and go after the farmers. Sadly, there's no way to do infections. They do eat though. There's no way to do infections in the unit creator. That was a mod a long, long time ago. I do like that there's a giant fear effect. I do like that there's a lot of eating and that as soon as they get close enough to eat, they increase their movement speed. So at first, they're kind of like meandering around, walking very, very slowly. But after a while, they sprint to devour their enemy. And that's very, very cool. Hey, did you guys like the SCP? Do you want to see more? Comment down below and let me know.